Hey everyone, my name is Jamil Davis from JDFitness.us. I am a personal trainer and online coach, and I'm super excited to be able to uh, walk you guys through the Fit Endurance Level 5 Challenge. Now, what we're gonna do is a warm up that's gonna consist of a jog in place for two minutes. We're gonna do a hamstring stretch for 30 seconds each side, and then we're going to do arm circle circles for one minute. Then the actual workout is burpees for 30 seconds, step ups with the jump and switch for 30 seconds, and then tuck jumps for another 30 seconds, and we're gonna do three total rounds of that. So if any of that sounded confusing, don't worry about it, because I'm gonna be doing it right along with you. Um, make sure you have your water nearby, that's the code word by the way, so when you hear me say water throughout the workout, make sure you go ahead and write it down. And for the step ups with the jump and switch, you're gonna need some kind of box. So I'm using this box here, all right? If you don't have a box, you can use any, any low platform. If you don't have one, you can even use a big enough pot. Just turn the pot upside down, put it on the ground if you're inside the house. If you have nothing at all, that's okay. I'll show you how to do it without anything at all. You can still take part in it, all right? So first off, we're gonna do the jog in place for two minutes. I have my timer right here. And when you are doing it, if the jog in place is too hard, you can walk in place. So if this is too hard for you, that's okay. We can walk in place. If the jog in place is too easy, you can do high knees for two minutes. So whatever you wanna do, the whole point is to get our heart rate up, to warm our body up. So whatever you're comfortable doing, you know, push yourself and do whatever you're comfortable doing. So let's start the clock for two minutes. I'm gonna do a jog in place. And if you wanna mix it up, you can. So let's say if you wanna swap between jog in place and high knees, that's okay. Remember, this is not part of the workout. This is just to get your body warmed up. This is just to get you moving. You never wanna work out cold because you risk pulling a muscle and you can hurt yourself. So always get your body nice and warm. It's not good to, to work out cold, okay? So here we going. All right. We're at 30 seconds now. One quarter of the way through. Keep jogging in place, jogging in place, jogging in place, okay? Now I'm just looking at my watch there, looking at my phone, it has the timer on it. Okay, good job, keep going, keep going. Keep going, keep going. Okay. And then we're at one minute now. So we're halfway through guys, keep it up. Good job, keep going, keep going. And if you're, so you started jogging in place and you got tired a little bit too fast, you can go switch to your walking, that's okay. That's okay, just keep the body moving. That's all we're doing, just getting, getting the blood flowing, getting that heart rate up. So we're at a minute and 20 seconds. So again, I'm gonna go back to jogging. I'm gonna go into high knees for a little bit. Okay, just get my body nice and warm. Okay. Those knees up high. All right, here we go. A minute, 35 seconds, almost done. Good job, good job, keep it up, don't stop. Don't stop, don't stop. Okay. Okay. 10 more seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Perfect, all right, go ahead and stop. If you need to take a drink of water, go ahead and take a drink of water. The next thing we're gonna do is a hamstring stretch. So the way we're gonna do our hamstring stretch is you're gonna cross your leg here. So the right leg, we're gonna, so sorry, I'm gonna start with the left leg over the right leg. Looks like this, cross here, okay? And we're gonna hold each stretch for 30 seconds. Now, the hamstrings are a group of muscles on the back of the leg, so you should feel a stretch at the back of the leg. You shouldn't feel anything in the front cramping up. You shouldn't feel pain when you do this, okay? You should feel a little bit of relaxation, a nice stretch. We're gonna come down. So left leg over the right foot, keep the legs close together. And I'm gonna feel a stretch on the right leg, okay? So whatever leg is behind you, that's where you're gonna feel that stretch, okay? And just go down as low as comfortable for you. So for me, this is a great position. I'm going to start the timer, we're gonna do 30 seconds. Slow, deep breaths. 
We're getting a pull on the back of the leg there. Slow, deep breaths. We're at 15 seconds now. Slow, deep breaths. Keep these knees close together. This back leg straight. Okay, slow, deep breaths. Okay, good. Now, we're gonna switch feet. So we did left foot over the right leg. Now we're gonna do right foot over the left leg. And so remember what I said, that back leg is where you're gonna feel that stretch. So now because I'm crossing the right leg over the left, I'm gonna feel that stretch back here, okay? And we're doing it, the stretch again for another 30 seconds. Okay, so here we go. 30 seconds. Slow deep breaths. Slow deep breaths. We're at 20 seconds. Okay. And good. 30 seconds is up. Very good. Move the legs around a little bit. And the last thing we're gonna do is arm circles for one minute. So let's go ahead and start that. The way you're gonna do your arm circles is we're gonna go small and then we're gonna go bigger like this, okay? Then we're gonna go back to going small and switch to small and big. And we're gonna do that for one minute, okay? So I'm gonna start the timer, do it along with me. Here we go. And the reason why we're doing this is to just get the shoulders moving. And this is called dynamic stretching. So we're stretching out our pecs just a little bit. Your pecs are your chest muscles. We're, we're moving around our delts, which are our shoulder muscles. And we're getting some movement in our back, okay? So just small circles to big circles. This is especially good to do, right, 30 seconds now, especially good to do if you're a person who sits around a lot, say you've been sitting around watching TV, you've been playing video games and you're hunched over. It's good to just open yourself up and get some movement in those shoulders and that upper back, okay? Doing good, we're at 45 seconds now, so we have 15 seconds left. Just keep those arm circles going. Okay, and go at a speed that's comfortable for you. If you want to do faster ones, if you want to do slower ones, it's up to you, okay? Four, three, two, one, very good, okay. So I'm gonna take a drink of water. Make sure you stay hydrated throughout the day, throughout your workout too. All right, now we're gonna go right into our workout. So remember, we're doing three rounds of this. So. First part is the burpees. And we're doing 30 seconds of this. When you're doing the burpee, if you don't know what it is, you're gonna have your hands down here on the ground. Make sure your shoulders are stacked over your wrists. So you shouldn't be back here. Your butt shouldn't be up in the air. You want your butt down, shoulders stacked over the wrists, just like this, okay? Now the way to do a full burpee is you come down to a plank position, feet go out, boom. Then you do a push up, you come all the way down, come up, jump in, and jump up in the air. Now, if that's too hard for some people, they can't do push ups, and that's okay. So, if you can't do the push up, all you're gonna do is just feet back, feet in, and the jump. You're gonna skip the push out, the, the push up part. If the jumping is too hard, you don't have to do the jumping. So, let's say the push up is too hard and the jumping is too hard. All you're gonna do is come here, feet out, feet in, and stand up. Take out the push-up part and take out the, the jumping part. For me, I'm gonna do the full burpee, modify it to how you need to do it. This is about you and what's comfortable for you. So I'm gonna put my timer here. I'm gonna do burpees for 30 seconds. Ready? And here we go. Keep it going, come on. And stop, 30 seconds, good job. All right, 
Now, the next thing is the step up with the jump and switch, okay? So if you have a box, the way it's gonna look is this. You're gonna be here and switch feet up on the box, okay? And if you notice, go to the side, I'm letting the back knee bend. I'm landing soft, so I'm not doing this, slamming my foot on the ground and then bending in. It's one move, okay? So here, soft knees, soft knees, okay? Just like that. If you don't have a box, that's okay. If you have nothing, just do it on the ground, like that, okay? Same thing, soft knees, all right? When you use a box, the nice thing about that is it works your quads a little bit more. So that's why if you have one, go ahead and use it. But if you don't, it's okay. So I mean, you should just skip the movement altogether. All right, so we're gonna do 30 seconds and go. Another drink of water. Okay. The last thing we're gonna do is tuck jumps. So when you do tuck jumps, remember the principle of landing with soft knees that we just did? That's the same thing we're gonna do with the tuck jumps for the last part of the circuit. So you're gonna jump up and come down. Jump up and come down, jump up, come down. So if you notice, I'm not doing this and slamming my knees. I'm not doing that. I'm landing softly. So here, soft, nice and soft, okay? If you can't do a tuck jump, that's okay. All you gotta do is high knees for 30 seconds, okay? Now don't cheat, don't do this. Bring your knees up nice and high, okay? Nice and high. Kind of have your hands about 90 degrees. It's a 90 degree angle. Bring those knees up nice and high, okay? We're doing 30 seconds of that, all right? Here we go, 30 seconds. After doing everything else. It's okay. Push through, push through. Here we go. That was 30 seconds. Perfect. Okay. Very good. So now we're gonna stop. Take a rest. Okay? Gonna take a rest. Now we're gonna do another two rounds of that. So you guys have seen everything, the way to do it. So the second time, I'm not gonna stop to show you how to do it because you already know how to do it now. So we're just gonna burn through the last couple parts of the workout and you keep up with me, okay? And take your breaks as you need to take them, okay? So if you need to, if you need to take longer breaks in between each exercise, that's fine. If you want to wait like I am to the end of all three and then rest, it's up to you. So just take that into consideration. I'm gonna do another two rounds of this and then I'll have you, uh, you again, either keep up with me or just pause it whenever you need to, okay? So I'm gonna do a minute and a half rest. Here we are in a minute and 10 seconds, okay? I'm gonna do a minute and a half rest. If you can, just keep that rest to a bare minimum. So if you can only rest for, if you only wanna rest for one minute, 
great. If you need to rest for three minutes after a round, then start again, that's fine too. Just don't rest too long, okay? So here we go. We're gonna do the whole thing. Here we go, 30 seconds. All right. seconds on that. Pause. Okay. Drink some water. And then for me, I'm going to show you how we do the high knees on this last one if you can't do the tuck jumps. Okay. There we go. Here we go. Tuck jumps. I knees instead, doing the modification. Here we go. Sweating guys. Sweating guys, are you sweating? Woo! There we go. That's okay. Feels good. Feels good. Okay, I'm gonna rest for another minute. Here we go. Just a little bit, step up with jump and switch. Almost done. All right, here we go. Here we go. Seconds, ten more, nine, eight, seven, six, 
five, four, three, two, one. Woo. Just a little bit. And we're gonna do either jump tucks or high knees, okay? I'll do my high knees right now, here we go. I'm getting tired, so this is gonna work for me. I'll do a couple jump tucks for good measure. And that's something else too, guys. If you wanna mix it up, feel free to mix it up. This is your time, okay? This is your time. It's about getting up, getting active, keeping that body healthy. Four seconds, three, two, one, done. And that was it. That was a whole workout. Fit, endurance, level five. Great job, guys. Great job, wonderful.